Hi, my name is Roger. I come from Sweden. Recently, I went to Krakow in Poland and Auschwitz and also Prague in the Czech Republic to take photos and I made videos that are on my channel somewhere uh, of those places, me taking photos. And I promised you that I would show you what gear I bring when I travel. Well, that differs, but I will show you in this video what gear I brought for that travel. I will do sort of reviews or maybe I should say user experiences of the things I own, the things I use regularly, cameras, lenses, bags and so on. So I won't go into details of everything in, that is in this bag in this video. I will do other videos for that, which means that you should subscribe, of course. Now let me show you my bag. It's a sling bag from Tarion. Sling bag means that it's small, but it's rather big for being a sling bag. This fits nearly everything I need for a travel, uh, going in the city travel especially. First, let's look at the outside of the bag where I have my GoPro, which I was filming on. This is a GoPro Hero 11 with the media mod. And I also have it on a small tripod small tripod that I can extend the legs so I get a longer reach for my GoPro uh, which means that selfies and other things are much easier. This tripod is excellent. I have to mention this a little bit. It's a carbon fiber tripod from Kuhlmann and yes I have a Ulanzi ball head on it because the Ulanzi ball head have a cold shoe which means I can put lights and especially microphones on the ball head because if I put microphones on top of the GoPro, the GoPro is so wide that the microphone might be shown in the picture, which I don't want, of course. This can actually hold my big camera as well, which we will look at now. Let's open the big compartment, the main compartment of the bag. Here is my main camera. It's the Sony a7 IV and my main lens was the Tamron 28-200 to f 2.8 to 5.6 a really handy setup small uh, well relatively small and lightweight perfect for travel and the reach 28 to 200 is perfect for city travel photos in, in my opinion and let me just show you that I can use this small tripod with my big camera. I just extend the legs out a little bit. Of course I can extend the legs to be longer as well. This is sturdy as any tripod. It's, it's wonderful when you're traveling to have the ability to just put your camera on a tripod. I actually took this picture with this setup. More things in my main compartment. My secondary lens, also from Tamron, 17 to 28 f 2.8. It's small, lightweight, and very sharp. I wished it was a couple of millimeters wider, but you can't have it all, can you? Um, with this price and light weight and everything, it's wonderful. I brought the third lens. This is the Vildrox 85mm 1.8. I never used it. Not one single time. I thought I was gonna use it to blur out backgrounds and things. I never did. After a few days, this stayed in my hotel room. I don't think that lens will go with me on any more travels. I don't think so. Uh, a small pouch, uh, protected with SD cards, genius, lightweight, doesn't weigh anything, doesn't take up any space. And also a battery bank, mostly for charging my phone when I'm out all day. But of course I have a USB-C cable also so I can charge my cameras. Talking about charging my cameras, in a small pocket on the inside I have of course extra batteries for my cameras. On the outside there's a couple of pockets. That's one thing I like about this bag, that there's a lot of pockets. On the outside I have a remote control. I can take selfies, but especially I can use the bulb mode on my camera with this remote. The other compartment, other pocket, I have pen and paper and also business cards. That's it. On the upper side of the bag, there's a hard protective pocket 
and of course I use this for my filters. In this I have a 3 stop and a 6 stop I think. I have ordered a 10 stop because I need it and also a lens cloth. I have a polarizing filter also. And then we have more random things in the upper bigger compartment of the bag. Let me open it up. Here we have a neck strap, if I want to use a neck strap. We have a wrist strap, which I use pretty often, especially in crowded places, because if someone bumps me, I don't want to lose my camera. We have an extension rod for my small tripod, makes it higher. And my favorite thing, well, favorite because it's my newest thing in this bag, uh, it's a platypod. Uh, this is uh, fantastic. It's absolutely genius. And yes, uh, the Kullman ball head lives on my platypod. The platypod you can use where you can't use a tripod. Inside churches, synagogues and other places, you can use a platypod and take pictures inside. Like this picture. Of course, that was taken with my wide-angle lens, but if you should take out a tripod, even a small tripod like this, the security will shoot you down, or at least put you into jail, because they don't allow tripods. In one, one of the towers in Prague, the powder tower, I went up to take a picture of uh, the view of Prague in the sunset, and they don't allow tripods. But one of the employees saw my setup with the platypod and said, yeah, cool. So you can use this when you can't use a tripod. And for the platypod, I also have a strap, which I use pretty often. I put the platypod on fences and things like that. This is an example. And also spikes for the platypod. I just screw them in and it's sharp on one end if you have uneven surface. And it's rubber on the other end if you want to use it like on a car or something you don't want to scratch. And then one more thing, this is an odd thing that I never used, but it doesn't take up any space and it doesn't weigh anything, so I will keep it in my bag. This I put around my lens and I put this towards glass and I can shoot through the glass without reflections. If I happen to be in a skyscraper or tower or something where there's glass and I want to take a picture, I can do that with that. And also on the inside of the, that uh, compartment, I have, there's a pocket where I have a uh, rain cover for my camera. I have rain cover for me. And I have rain cover for my bag. That was it for the bag. But I want to show you one more thing about this bag. This bag, of course, has side axes, like many backpacks or sling bags have. It's meant that you can put your camera here and take it in or out of the side axis. I didn't do that so often. I had my camera on this clip, camera clip. This is from Ulansi. It's Falcom F38. I also have the Peak Design. Both are good, so it doesn't matter what brand you have. I use Ulansi because this is compatible with some of the tripod ball heads I have. So I just put my camera there and I can walk around ready to take a photograph at any time. And take it out if I want to. And then I use the side axis for my secondary lens. So when I wanted to change lenses, I just turn my bag over and I, I have access to my lens right away. I can change lenses on the go, which was very handy. I also have this, I don't know what it's called in English, but this I used for my platypod when I was walking into a church or synagogue, for example, so I didn't have to take off my bag and attach it. This was ready at any time. I brought a tripod. I brought a really good tripod, a carbon fiber travel tripod from Sirui, Sirui. Uh, really good tripod. It's sturdy, it's lightweight. I think it's only just over one kilogram wonderful tripod and I used it once. One time I used it because I didn't want to carry it around in the city. 
Uh, I had other stabilizers, so this stayed in my hotel room. But this will, this I will bring to more travels if I need a tripod. It's so good to have one, and this doesn't weigh anything, so why not? Oh, well, it weighs one kilo, two pounds. I also brought this uh, pooch with technical stuff. Um, this was not uh, in my bag because this stayed in my hotel room. A multi-tool, another multi-tool for stands and things, cleaning equipment like uh, this air blower, lens cloths, caps, and also microphones. I can't show you all of them because I'm using them. But microphones, lavalier mics, and, and so this stayed in my hotel together with chargers and stuff like that. But you know how those look. That was my travel gear for June 2023. It will probably change the next time. Thank you for watching.